Hello everybody, this is Toshiyagi from beautiful little island Okinawa, Japan. Uh, I'm a photographer. I shot this image for a long time ago with 35mm reversal film. Well, uh, I tried watercolor image last time. Um, the other day I finished up, but I, uh, I'm going to try some kind of illustration on this Procreate. Um, make a, some kind of dry media type image. I don't know, I'm going to try this image to make some light illustration, something like that. I don't... Well, I just want to try both applications, an iPad. Well, let's get started. I have this image and uh, I'm going to smudge this one. So I'm going to make duplicate first, then uh, change the name, rename smudge. And this is main image photograph. I'm going to turn it off. Now I'm going to work on this smudge image image then I use this smudge tool well evolve drawing to evolve this was good I want to try again on this evolve brush which is this kind of texture and uh, working pretty good so let's try it okay I'm going to use small size and a, a, a brush opacity about 60 to 70. Okay, smudge this edge of the hat. As you can see, this smudging image pretty interesting, nice texture. Okay, um, I used a filter to shoot. I have the diffusing um, filter on the lens. So it's overall kind of fuzzy image. This outside of the line, I mean the uh, edge of the body, maybe I can use just a touch bigger size of this smudging tool. Okay, I'm down for this model here. Now, next model behind. Is already out of focus, so I'm not gonna smudge. Well, just show the texture some. Um. Okay, a little bit more. I mean, uh, a little bit bigger size to. Background. Now a little smaller for this finger. And also this out of focus piano keys. I don't smudge much, otherwise. You cannot see what that is. Okay. Now I'm gonna use a little bit bigger size of this. I'm, I'm gonna break this straight lines. And here too. All right. Just leave the big brush, I mean the texture.
Okay. Now I'm gonna well finish up a smudge already. Now I'm gonna make mask, then invert mask. Now I'm gonna choose brush texture to reveal that mask. Okay, now I'm gonna reveal with the painting group. Painting to I found this watercolor. Okay, try this watercolor. Okay, a lot bigger. Uh, what do you call it? Music seat or something here. So I want to show that. Well, make it smaller. Now I want. I want to show this. Her finger and holding the music sheet. Otherwise, and I also show this piano image. Otherwise, you don't know what they are doing. Now I'm gonna hide some with the black. This sharp, sharp edge of the outlines. Okay, now we're well, now reveal again. Now I want to change the exposure. Well, I'm not gonna change. I mean, uh, lighten up her their face. It's kind of under exposure, so uh, well, I'm gonna go. Okay, duplicate this layer again. Then this one is, it's smudged but uh, adjustment, which is, I'm going to use curves to lighten up. So rename curve. This. Okay. Then I'm going to take this, I mean, uh, delete. This mask. Okay, lighten up. First of all, not mask. I choose this curve layer only, then select layer. No, we see this. If you lighten up, just when you go this way, then you can make a contrast, but uh, darker side to go light. And also, this light side, same way to left. So lighten up here, but when you go up, it's gonna make dull image, no contrast. So make the contrast, then lighten up overall. Even though it's burned out here, but don't worry. We have the image, um, underneath one more right so we are just looking at their face area now this one sh touch i mean i'm not gonna burn out so i'm using this lighten up here then we make the s then take keep the contrast That's too much here, yeah. okay. This is pretty good, I think. And a little bit reddish, so I'm gonna touch down. Okay, about here. Now, okay, I retouch on this, smash the image, just lighten up right this is the one now i'm gonna make mask then invert mask 
Now we don't see. Well, even though I'm going to turn it off, I mean, I turn it up. Now you see the lighting image, but mask, we are hiding everything, right? Now I'm going to choose this time though. I'm not going to use the same brush. I'm going to use airbrushing to soft blend. This is real soft. Okay, now I'm going to reveal this with soft brush. Choose white color. Then make it bigger, real soft. Then now just opacity 85 or so to lighten up. I mean uh, reveal her face, which is this. Okay, same time. I want her face to be lighter too. Okay, pretty much. Now if you were too much lighter, then just hide. But here, then again, reveal. this shadow side. Now, also this is I guess I want to hide here on this light image. So I'm gonna select the black then hide this mask. I want to see the detail of the hat. You see now. Just lighten up their faces. Okay, now I'm going to add some, well, add layer to paint and colors. Now I'm going to add color with the same painting to watercolor, same brush. On this, then select the color, amber color, I think. So use the watercolor brush, a little bit big, then about 50%. Then just paint around here. texture when you tap it, it shows a texture too nice and also I will clear this hat so I have the main I mean the base image here I'm going to change rename base now move this base image go top all the way top. Then make mask. I'm going to turn this space image on. Then invert this mask I just made. Now I'm going to reveal with soft brush again. Artist, I mean uh, airbrushing to soft blend. This time a little bit smaller. Then what I want to do is reveal this with white. I want to show her head, edge of this head, to be a little bit more sharper because it's kind of distracting. I want to see there. Okay, that's about it. Now I'm going to continue to paint on, uh, I'm going to change rename color. 
Okay, background color. I want not only amber color, I want some kind of greenish cyan, light color. And again, I'm gonna choose painting to watercolor, right? They make it. Yep, I guess that's about it though today. And uh, I like this kind of texture. This is really nice. Let's see. I'm gonna touch up some layer mask. I'm gonna hide with the painting to watercolor brush. Now I'm going to add color with same brush, uh, watercolor brush. Then pick some same density, this, uh, same color on here. Goes to outside. Hmm, I guess I got it. I have this base image. I have to lighten up, otherwise it's darkened here because of this mask, right? Yeah, so in that case, I have to lighten up in the same way of this image. That's right. You gotta be careful. That's right. I'm using the dark image of the base. So, in this case, I don't think I can copy on this. No wonder it's dark on around here. You see this area and this bottom of the chin? So I'm gonna fix this now. Well, okay. Select this, and then uh, curves, layer, lighten up first. It's gonna lighten up only that uh, this area. So just find out. Less illuminates. It's red now. I'm gonna gamma. Go up. I'm I'm looking at this shadow and under the chin. That's only gamma. Then red goes to just a touch reddish, so go down. Touch green. It's close. Yeah, use the base image and also a little bit sharper head 
image here. Well, I guess that's it. Alright, now thank you for watching my video and uh, I really appreciate for your guys' uh, support. And this is it for today and see you next time. Bye now. Ciao.